Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day should be an adventure in your kitchen. Today we are doing Italian butter chicken. Now, the traditional butter chicken is usually an Indian dish, but this butter chicken is so delicious that we make it quite often. Um, okay, let's get started. So first of all, we are gonna take our Italian seasoning, and I have one cup of water here, and I'm just gonna pour it right into my water. I'm gonna take a little fork, and I'm just gonna give it a light stir. I don't even know if you really have to stir it up, because it's all gonna get into the pot the same way, but. We're gonna do it because that's the recipe calls for. And then we're gonna take some chicken. I have about six um, chicken thighs here, and so I'm just gonna plop them right into my pot. And I am gonna pour out, you can use chicken breasts, but my family loves the juiciness of the chicken thighs. So that's what I use. So I'm just gonna pour the seasoning right into the pot, right over the top of the chicken. Um, and I'm gonna just make sure that the chicken is not stuck to the bottom. There we go. And then I'm gonna plop in my butter. So just like that, bam. I'm gonna make sure it's kind of evenly dispersed. And that's it. That's the whole recipe for the moment. So I'm gonna turn on this Instant Pot for six minutes. That's it. Um, when you're doing chicken thighs that size, which they're about, you know, this big, um, all you need is six minutes if they're defrosted and fresh. So six minutes on the Instant Pot. Six minutes. I'll see you back and probably, it'll probably take about 10 minutes to come to pressure. And then um, it'll take six minutes and I'll see you back here in about six minutes. All right, now I'm going to take our cream of chicken and our cream cheese and I'm going to mix it all together into this um, glass bowl. So my cream cheese was straight out of the... <clears throat> So my cream cheese was straight out of the refrigerator. So I'm actually going to plop it into this glass bowl and give it a microwave for probably about uh, 30 seconds on 50%. All right, let's check for, oh yeah, just a little softer, just soft enough. Okay, now I'm gonna get my cream of chicken. Now, I use the boxed cream of chicken from Pacific because it is gluten-free. Um, so, but you can use the just regular old Campbell's cream of chicken soup or whatever brand you choose, generic if you want. But we use this because it is gluten-free. All right, and we're just gonna mix this together until it's well incorporated. And this may take a little bit. All right, this is as good as it's gonna get right now. So now it's just gonna sit there until this pot is done. Yeah, now we just wait and wait. Maybe I'll do the dishes. My husband would appreciate if I do the dishes. Oftentimes I'll do a video and then I'll do another video and then I'll mess around in the kitchen and then I won't do a video but then I'll make dinner or I'll you know make dessert or whatever and the kitchen will be a mess when my husband gets home and I'll be so exhausted and I'll be like oh oh my goodness it's been such a long day and he's been at work all day so he's had a long day but he'll do my dishes for me so that's really sweet and but maybe I should do up the dishes I've already done three or four recipes today let's see only three, right? Yeah, only three. Um, I did not record one of them. I did record another one. Um, it is the Instant Pot Bread Recipe, which is a banana bread recipe. It was so good, so delicious. All right, it's about to come to pressure, as you can hear. Let's see. Yep, to pressure. That's a trick. That's a trick that I taught myself. When I'm tired of hearing that hissing noise and I know that it's ready to come to pressure, I'll actually push on the handle of my machine and boop, 
up, up comes the button. So I don't know if that's, I'm supposed to do that, but that hissing noise is like nails on a chalkboard to me. So mm, I just think and all done. So, all right, we'll see you back in. So it's about to start. So we'll see you back in like six minutes. All right, see ya. All right, our chicken has finished and now we're gonna go ahead and quick release. Usually when you do chicken, you don't quick release. You let it naturally come down out of pressure. But because we're adding the soup, we want to actually bring it back to pressure as quickly as possible. Patience is a virtue when you do instant pot because you don't want to put your hand over the top of the steam. You'll burn yourself and you need it to come completely out of pressure before you try to remove the lid because that's when you have accidents. That's when accidents happen. That's when bad things happen. So we'll just wait. So how was your day? And as soon as it's done though, we're gonna get this in and we're gonna start it back up for another minute or two, depending on how done the chicken is when we look at it. Because sometimes the chicken is almost completely done at this point and I just put it in for another minute. And sometimes it still needs a good two, three minutes under pressure and we'll just see. It's good to have a thermometer on hand so you can check what temperature your chicken is um, you want it to be about 150 um, to be done. Um, 165 is the ultimate temperature, but as it sits still, it will eventually reach that temperature. So anything over 165 is overcooked. Okay, off. I'm gonna check the temperature of the chicken first. I'm gonna put it right into one of the um, pieces that is real thick. All right, and this chicken is done. It is over, it's at 160, so six minutes and that was it. So we're only gonna redo this. So in goes the sauce, which is the cream cheese and the cream of chicken. And we're just gonna give it a little stir. And then we're gonna bring it right back up to pressure. So we're going to Hold on. There's still so much pressure in there. There we go. We're going to put it on seal and then we're going to start it for one minute. That's it. Just one minute. Got soup on me. One minute. Also, I have some pasta water back here. That is a pot of water, big pot of water, um, heavily salted. And I'm going to do the tagliatelle, and it's going to be what we have for dinner tonight. So tagliatelle, and then I'm going to put that nice, beautiful sauce on. Okay. Check it out. Oh, delightful. Delightful. All right. So I probably should have whisked together the cream cheese, and I'll show you why. There's little cream cheese bits, but I'm hoping as I break up the chicken with a pair of tongs or a pair of scissors or something, because we want it to be kind of shreddy. So as I break this chicken up, those big chunks of um, cream cheese are melting together just by me handling it just a little bit. All right. And just by the heat, the melted, the cream cheese has melted much more. So let's show you what it looks like now. But you want your pieces to be in kind of little shreds so that your noodles, so they're bite sized, bite sized pieces. And like I mentioned, you can totally take your chicken out and re add it back to the pot and cut it. But all right, this is done. Our pasta is not done, but I will show you the sauce. Look at that. It is so delicious. Just imagine it over some spaghetti or some tagliatelle or some something. Time for the taste. Oh man. It doesn't even need some pasta. I could just eat this whole thing right now. In fact, I might. 
Plus, I had salad for lunch. <laughs> and this is way better than salad. Way better than salad. So delicious. Seriously, though. You know, nobody knows that I made this. Nobody has to know. It's only like 17,000 calories. Mm. Proof. Proof it's good. All right. So our pasta is done. And what you'll want to do um, is just transfer it straight from the pasta pot Ew. into your sauce. And it's okay that you get a little bit of that pasta water in there. It's nice and salty. It'll season it really well. All right. All right. Now we're just going to give this a little toss. Make sure that all of your pasta sees that beautiful, creamy, delicious sauce. Oh my goodness. I cannot even wait. This is so delicious. Oh my goodness. This is my favorite, favorite chicken ever. All right. Ready for this beautifulness? Okay. <laughs> okay. And if you were worried about presenting this, you would do a little nest. So just like a little, a little nesty food. I make such a mess when I cook. It's ridiculous. All right. Check that out. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. So good. We're going to actually hit it with some French cheese. So this is a Comte de cheese. Comte de, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And we're just going to grate some right over the top. And that's just because we love cheese. All right. And there you have it. There is our Italian butter chicken, otherwise known in this family as crack chicken. So we're just gonna taste it. I'll taste it here on camera for you. And I can tell you right now, I'm gonna say mmm, because mmm, my noodles, my noodles, my noodles, and a piece of chicken. Here we go. Oh man. The flavor is, it cannot be beaten. The flavor, oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get off now because I wanna eat this. I don't even wanna wait for my husband to get here. He should be here in like five minutes, maybe even right now. I hope so, because this is delicious. Mm. Oh man. If you have never eaten, this recipe before now's the time for you to try it all right you guys well thanks for tuning in to um, adventures in everyday cooking um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe and now I'm gonna go eat my dinner thanks guys bye